myself, KPS Varya, along with my group mates, Tatan Kumar Sahu, Himadri Haldar and Rajkumar Kuradia are going to present our final year project titled Software Based Sign Language Converter under the guidance of Mr. Kartik Rajvi, Assistant Professor, Department of Biomedical Engineering, SRN University. What's a sign language? A sign language is a way of communication used by hearing impaired people by showing different hand gestures for alphabets, numbers and phrases. What's a sign? A sign is the movement of one or both hands accompanied with facial expressions. Different sign languages like American Sign Language, British Sign Language and Indian Sign Languages are available. But commonly used and preferred one is American Sign Language. American Sign Language uses various Upper body movements along with facial expression to convey words, alphabets, number and phrases. Actually, why do we require sign language conversion? Now, whenever a hearing impaired person communicates with a normal person, he requires a translator. A translator is a mediator or a trained person accompanying hard of hearing person to convey the sign language shown in the form of text or voice messages to a normal person. Hence, sign language conversion is required to convert the hand gestures into their respective voice or text messages. To avoid the use of translator and difficulty in learning sign language, we go for software-based sign language conversion. In this technique, first, no translator is required. Second, it's not a bulky hardware, so it's an easily portable one. Third, an audiovisual output can be generated. And fourth, Proficiency in sign language is not at all required. In this project, we aim to design a cost-effective software-based sign language converter that minimizes the communication gap between hearing impaired person and a normal person without any use of translators. Our main focus lies in four areas. First, to acquire images in real time. Second, to extract features and do image processing. Third, to recognize the extracted features and four, to generate a user understandable output. So let's talk about the two main uh, software that we are using to get the image acquisition. The first is the DroidCam and the next is uh, client software. DroidCam that we can get in the Play Store and client software we are downloading from Device 47 apps. So now let's talk about the DroidCam. The IP address that we are getting in our smartphone as you can see in the screen. So we need to put that IP address in the client software. So we put the IP address and click the start button. So as a result we get the uh, real time image acquisition. So the next step is the Vision Assistant Express VI that we need to put into the block, di uh, block diagram. Selecting the Vision Acquisition Express VI in the block diagram. So from that we are uh, selecting the source that is the Droid Cam. So after selecting the, the Droid Cam source we are clicking on the next button. So from there we are uh, selecting the continuous acquisition process for the real time acquisition of the image. So now I will be explaining about the image processing part. Uh, starting off, we, have, we are acquiring original image. Then uh, we are converting this image to grayscale image using red vein ex extraction. Next, we are applying filters uh, to highlight the details of the image by using convolution highlight details. Moving on, we are converting this image into a binary image using thresholding where we can give uh, manual values for threshold. Next, for enhancing the images, we are using advanced morphology in which first of all we are using fill holes to remove the noises uh, due to ambient light. Next, we are using a second stage for advanced morphology in which we are removing the small objects to clean the background noises. Next, for Equalizing the image, we are using equalize function under the lookup table. Now the next step will be geometric matching. As you can see on the screen, we are giving a template on the screen and uh, according to the template given, we are setting some of the parameters. Based on these parameters and contour based uh, imaging, 
this will process the image and it will match a geometric match uh, on the recorded image. Also you can see on the screen that a score has been generated for the match of a geometric pattern. This finishes the geometric matching. Next step will be going for edge detection. For going for the edge detection, we only need to check the edges in a particular region where the geometric matching has been performed. So we are using a set coordinate before edge detection which gives a reference for the edge detection. Set coordinate system has been uh, taken in the main uh, menu of uh, edge detection uh, so that we can take it as a reference. We are taking edge detection for number of fingers and its confirmation. You can go to set controls menu, select the controls and indicators that are to be needed in the block diagram and then finish the uh, processing. So now the pre-processing part has already been done. This also includes the main process including geometric matching and confirmation using edge detection. Now the same vision assistant uh, block can be used in various number of stages in flash sequence to generate various number of templates. So now we will be showing a demo. 10 2 One, six. So to conclude, we can say that the method as described here involves matching algorithm which is used to decide what sign is shown by the user. The idea was applied to give the numbers for American Sign Language from 0 to 10 as well as few of the alphabets. The same algorithm can, can also be used to show short phrases or a sentence by a deaf person and can be easily used to convert it into a textual or an audio output for the normal person.